All right, I'm gonna show you how to use QuickTime Screen Recorder to make some simple screencasts. First thing you wanna do is set up a PowerPoint and uh, prepare yourself with some slides ahead of time. Uh, you also want to have an outline. Here's a Google Doc showing my outline of what I'd like to share with you today. Opening QuickTime, finding the record button, finishing and exporting your file, and saving saving your file so you can share it to YouTube or Google Drive. So create a, an outline, um, something that you can follow, but don't, uh, don't be afraid to uh, diverge from it. All right, let's go ahead and open up QuickTime. The way we do that is um, click on the Finder window, or you can use the Spotlight using Command Spacebar. Type in QuickTime Player, and then selecting Enter will open QuickTime Player. Go ahead and press the file, and then click on the New Screen Recording, and that will initiate the process to starting the screen capture. Next thing you'll see is a pop-up that has the Screen Recording dialog box, and here you're going to want to click the little drop-down arrow which will let you enable your microphone to record the audio and lets you select the quality of the video. Higher quality means higher file size. Um, I always like to show my mouse clicks so whenever my mouse clicks you can see uh, where I'm clicking on the, on the screen. Once you've selected that you'll go ahead and press the red enter uh, record button and you'll be prompted to either decide on a full screen recording or dragging a portion of the screen and only sh showing part of your, your desktop. And you would do that by, by clicking on a lo location and then dragging across to make a, make a window. And the nice thing about that feature is only things inside of that window will be recorded. So nothing on the outside of that box will be, be recorded. You then capture your video and do your recording, play your PowerPoint, do your narrations, whatever. And when, you're, when you've completed that, you'll then hit the, the stop button. And you'll, be, uh, you'll need to export, or, or sorry, you'll need to save the, the file. So you'll click File, Export, and this window will pop up prompting you to rename your video and then it will default to a format, but I suggest you then use the iPad, i4, and Apple TV file format. Once you've changed the name and clicked the format, you can go ahead and click the export button. It will export to the location you've shown here in the middle. Now that you've ex exported the video, you can then either upload it to your YouTube channel, upload it to your Google Docs, and then, of course, share that link of your video. Thanks for watching.